open up the heavens. Yes, we Lord. need the heavens open up on today. Right, Hallelujah. Right, Send down fire. Right, Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. God wants to hear your praise. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. He wants to hear your praise. Hallelujah. He wants to hear your praise. Hallelujah. Nobody likes the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, you made Lord. the earth. Yes, you made Lord. the heaven and earth in six yes, days. 
Amen. in the name of Jesus. Name and of we Jesus. thank you, God. Hallelujah. For yes, new God. beginning, new no, power, God. new no, wisdom, knowledge, God. new understanding, no. new glory. Hallelujah. No. New anointing. Hallelujah. No. New wisdom. Hallelujah. No. New revelation, God, yes, God, that you are giving to us, Father, yes, in the name of yes, Jesus. Name we Jesus. thank you for this new thing yes, that you are doing in us, on us, and around us, Father, yes, God. in the name of in Jesus. Name of and Jesus. we come together yes, with great God. expectation, God, to receive from you yes, on today, God. God. We come in remembrance to commune with yes, you, Father, yes, in the name of in Jesus. Name and the name of Jesus. God, that you have done for our sins, Father, yes, in the name of, in the name Jesus. of Jesus. We thank you. For your unconditional love that you have for us, God, yes, in the Lord. name of name Jesus. Jesus. And we want you, God, to have your way. Have your way we God. take the back seat, yes, Father, God. for you to come in and have your way, Father, yes, in us, on us, around us, and through us, yes, God. Lord. Because we know when you come, you don't come empty-handed. Yes, you come with miracles, signs, and wonders. Yes, you come to deliver and heal and yes, set free yes, in the name of yes, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You come to open up our understanding. Yes, Standing with your understanding yes, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Everything crooked, we straighten it out. Everything lumping, you smooth it out. And we thank you, God, for being our Father, our God, and no other God will we serve. We thank you for being our Lord of Lords and our King of Kings in the name of Jesus. Lion of Judah, roar in this place. Your fire, God, fall on each and every one of us, God. Let it sit on every receipt, God, as it did in Pentecostal days, Father. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we give you the praises, the honor, and the glory for all that you do for us, Father. Bless the serpent, angel of this house. In the name of Jesus. God, continue to empower them with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. With your fire, Father. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for giving us leaders according to your heart, God. The out of that mouth, the heart speaking. In the name of Jesus. Prophesy preachers and teachers and correct us in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, God, for the oil that runs from you to them. And from them to us, Father. And from us to people, Father. To your help, we are disciples, God. Bringing in your people, Father. From the north, east, south, and west. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you for showing us, God, which side to cast our net on. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for the strategy, Father. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That we can cast it on the other side. And we can get everything that we need to pull into you, Father, yes, in the name of the Jesus. Name of Jesus. Jesus, we are calling on you, Father. Jesus, we are calling on you. Jesus, we need you, Jesus. Jesus, we need you, our Father. Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, something happened when we call on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When blessings goes up, the blesser come down. Jesus, and all come down and they see you. Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. 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 We bless your holy name, Jesus. We give you honor, Jesus. We give you glory, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. In spirit and in truth, Jesus. You are our Lord, our God. And no other God will we serve, Father. In the name of Jesus. You are so faithful and loving and kind to us. Hallelujah. And we bless you, God. We bless your name, Father. We bless your name. We bless you, Father. And we give you the honor that is due unto you from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun. Because of whom you are and who you are to us, God. In the name of Jesus. We know it's oppressing the push, Father. Yes, Lord. We don't care what it look like. And we don't care what it feels like. God, because we know it's working for our good. In the name of Jesus, it's working for our good. Because we are victorious in you, God. We are heirs with God and join heirs with you. No weapon formed against us will ever prosper. And every tongue that rise up against us in judgment shall and will be condemned. How we thank you, God, for the prophet that warns us, that give us warning of the enemy. Like you did, Jehovah. 
Jesus. In the name Lord. of Jesus. Hallelujah. This fight don't belong to us. It belongs to you. And we will stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. We will appoint some singers and praises. We will, hallelujah, give God praise. We will glorify him. Jesus, we will bless his name at all times. His praise will continue to be in our mouth in the bad times, in the good times. Whatever time it is, we will bless him. We will bless him. We will bless you, Father. We will bless your heart. We will bless your holy name. We will bless you. We will bless you. We will glorify you. We will lift you up, God. My 
God. Uh, uh, as you continue to worship God, as you continue to acknowledge God, as you continue to bless the Lord on this morning, bless the Lord, all my soul and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down, the, he's worthy to be praised. Uh, he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. This is the sixth month. This is the second day. And Luke 6 is the number of man. But listen here. When we look at the thing, two is the number of unity. And when you bring six and two together, you got eight. And today starts a new beginning for all in. There's new mercy. There's grace. In your situation, there's a fresh start. There's a new beginning. In your situation, God said, I wouldn't leave you. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. It's a new beginning for you. New beginning. Oh, new beginning. New uh, beginning. Somebody started to say, I'm new already. You didn't been through hell long enough. It's time for a new beginning. You've been stressed out long enough. It's time for a new beginning. You've been going through the ups and downs. It's a now time for a new beginning. I think the song said, we come this far by faith. Lead it on the Lord. Trust him in his hope. He never failed me yet. My God, and God is telling me to tell you on this morning, you come too far to give up. You come too far to turn around. You come too far to be mistreated and to be misled. You come too far. And I'm with you on this morning. I'm with you on this morning. God said he's with you on this morning. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is our provider. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for a fresh start, a new beginning. For some of us, this is going to be a new journey. This, this new journey is not going to be like it was before. On the way. You got a chance to view the sight. On the way, you got a chance to see those that was with you and those that weren't for you. You got a chance to understand that God was moving you in a new direction. You got a chance to see something different. And God said, it's time to move. It's time. It's time. It's time. Don't get stagnant. Because the sun, because 
have become new. And when the sun comes in, I'm talking about the S-U-N. When the sun radiates on the planet, it feels the warmth. So you ought to feel the warmth of the S-O-N in your life. Because when he comes shining through, you come forth as pure gold. The S-O-N. The S-O-N wants to shine in your life. And Pete read the scripture on this morning. Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, it says, Stand firm, stand fast in the liberty. And I want to tell you on this morning, don't get trapped again. Don't, don't, don't get trapped again. Don't get trapped again. Don't get trapped again. Don't be like the dog that returns to its vomit. Don't get trapped again. If God has freed you on this morning, this is not the time to turn your back. through some things. This new generation is an entitled generation that think everything should be handed to you and God is trying to tell us that he's given us some things but you don't have to work for it. And that's what Paul was trying to tell the Galatians. God has freed you from some things. God has taken alcohol out of our mouth. God has taken Marijuana. He has taken those things that, that enslaves us, that puts us in bondage. So why would you want to go back to the bondage? Mm. Uh, you got to stay free in this thing. You got to stay free in this thing. The children of Israel moaned and groaned because uh, the oppressors uh, put so much strain and weight on them to get the straw and the hay together. They were being oppressed uh, and they wanted relief. Uh, is there anybody that needs relief uh, all this morning? You've been stressed out uh, about some things that have been coming up against you. You've been stressed out about places, people, and things. God is coming and he wants you to be stress free stress free stress free stress free uh, Paul, Paul said I got a reason to boast about some things that anybody got a reason to boast about some things yeah you got a reason to boast you got a reason to say God has saved me God has healed me God has delivered me God has changed me And Paul wanted these folks in Galatians to know that you've been changed, you've been saved, you've been delivered, you've been taken out of the hand of bondage. Why would you want to return back to that mess? Why would it even be in your thought pattern? Because there's too much peer pressure out there in the world. We are called to be different. We are called to be different. The Bible says put a difference between clean and unclean, holy and unholy. We are called to be different. And if you're not ready to be different, 
My God, if, you, if you're not ready to be different, you don't want to be like the world. You don't want to be a, a copycat of the world. You don't want to be a copycat. And when I started thinking about the word copycat, I started thinking about, my God, my God, you got those makeover videos or you got those folks that are being, uh, 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 for, for what, they, what they call that, uh, like tea, um, oh, my God. They, um, Ah, the word is right there on the tip of my tongue. They, uh, uh, it's, it's almost like the filters uh, 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 catfished. Uh huh. That's where that that's where I want to go. Yeah. It's like being catfish. Jesus was coming from the temple of Jerusalem one day. And he was on his way. And I'm in the book of Matthew. Uh, Matthew, I think it's chapter 21, uh, verses 17 through 24. And what he said was, uh, he came from the temple after telling folks, uh, my house shall be called a house of prayer. He turned over the money to He got rid of those that were doing stuff in there. Of prayer. Uh, he left there. He left there. And he went to a place isolated. He began to pray. And then on his way back into Jerusalem the next day, you're going to have to know that you got to deal with some things. If you don't deal with it now, you're going to have to go back and deal with it the next day. Jesus wasn't done dealing with the situation the next day. But I love how he was on his way back here and it said he seen a fig tree because he was hungry. And when he seen the fig tree, it had leaves on it. The season was right, but it didn't have any fruit. And he cursed that thing because it led him. It was a false enticement. Mm. Uh, it was a copycat. Mm. He was <laughs> He looked at him and he told him, look at here. Uh, you, you got me now. I look, I came because you should have been bearing fruit. And you don't want God to come. And you're not bearing fruit. He cursed that thing at the root and it dried up. Some commentaries or some scriptures said it dried up right away. Others say it dried up the next time they seen it. But God, when he speaks to our situation. I want to tell you on today, you can dry up anything that's not being fruitful in your life. If it's not adding to you and it's subtracting from you, you can, you can you can speak death to that thing right then and there. Uh-huh, laziness. I'm speaking death to it right now. Mishap. I'm speaking death to it right now. Mistreatment. I'm speaking death to it right now. Confusion. I'm speaking death to it right now. Mm. Uh, disobedience. I'm speaking death to it right now. Lack. I'm speaking death to it right now. In the name of Jesus. Uh, 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 hey. uh, my God, my God. He began to speak to that thing and it dried up. And I want to let you know, just like in 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, chapter, chapter 19 or chapter 9, somewhere up in there, it talked about, my God. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Help me, help me, help me, Holy Ghost. Help, 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 Holy Ghost on this morning. Help on this morning. Let, 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 let me go to it real quick. On this morning, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 28. Do you not know that they that run in the race? Race all for to run it all 
but only one gets the prize. And I want to tell you on this morning, you got to keep on running. There's some painful seasons that we're going to encounter. And I believe we didn't already encounter one, but it was necessary. It was just a test. It was just pain that we were dealing with. It was some discomfort that we were dealing with. God was conditioning us for what he's getting ready to do in our lives right now. God's getting ready to do something great. He's getting ready to do something marvelous in our life. And it tells us, don't get entangled with the bondage of yoke again. And Jesus lets us know, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For my burden is easy and my yoke is light. Yoke was used to hook up two animals, to hook up, and they went in the same path, and they both were effective in what they were doing, but there's a bondage, a yoke that the people of God encountered that does not profit them nothing. What shall profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Mm. This yoke, this yoke was a bondage. This yoke was a distraction. And God said, I know y'all dealing with some distractions in your life. You're dealing with distractions in your family. You're dealing with distractions with friends. You're distractions with loved ones. God said, that's all right. Keep on moving. I'll deal with the distractions. I'll deal with the distractions. And I don't know where I got this from. I must have heard it. I must have read it somewhere. But what God is doing in today's time, he's doing us like an orange. He's just peeling one layer off at a time. And every time he pull a layer off, he's making us better. He's making us visual for the things that he's getting ready to do for us. And that same saying, that Bible lets us know, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Paul was letting them know, don't get trapped up in this. There's some folks that are watching your life. There's some folks that's wondering how you got over, how you made it. I know you was going through this. Some of us that been through bankruptcy. Some of us that lost cars. Some of us that lost homes. Some of us have lost friends. Some of us have lost loved ones. But then they look at us and trying to figure us out. How did you make it? And Paul wanted them to let them know that you got a reason to boast about the things of the Lord. If you look at Psalms 116 verse 12, I think it says, what shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits? Ah, there's some things that you can render unto the Lord. Well, if you don't understand what can you render, let me help you out with this scripture. I think in Luke chapter, uh, uh, just put it this way, it's in Luke. It talked about the ten lepers, the ten lepers. Ah, Jesus seen them. They needed healing and began to cry out. Is there anybody crying out to the Lord on this morning? You need healing in this area. You need deliverance in this area. You need a door open over here. You need a door shut over there. God, you need you need circumstance. Is there anybody that need to have a need on this morning? God is here to meet every need on today. And when the lepers begin to cry out, he said, go show yourself to the priest. They got up and took off. And one thing you can render unto the Lord is to let him know that you're grateful. Let somebody know that I'm grateful for what God has done. God, if you don't do anything else, you've already done enough. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I couldn't be here. I wouldn't be here if you had not had your hand on me. I wouldn't be here if you had not touched me with your finger or not. I would not have been here if you hadn't gave up on me. I wouldn't be here. And one leper noticed that he 
he was healed. Yeah. And he, he left. He moved from the other nine and went back. Fell on his knees and began to thank God. I thank you for my healing. I thank you for my deliverance. I thank you for my breakthrough. I thank you for a fresh start. I thank you for removing the stains. I thank you for rolling away the reproaches. I thank you for moving the blocks out of my life. I thank you on this morning. Hallelujah. And that lets me know. Everybody ain't going to go with you. Right? Everybody ain't meant to go with you. And he looked. And Jesus wanted him to know it. He said, look at here. Were there not ten of y'all? Where, where's the other nine? <laughs> and, and I believe that man said they kept on going. They didn't come back to give you praise. They didn't come back to give you worship. They didn't, they didn't respect what you was doing for them. And I'm going to tell you all this morning, you got to respect the Lord. I think that right they said, you better put some respect on my name. And Jesus is telling folks, you better put some respect on my name. My name is a strong tower that the righteous can run into and find themselves safe. So on this one, God said, don't get trapped up again. Don't get trapped up again. Don't get trapped in the same situation. Don't get trapped doing the same thing that made you comfortable. Don't get trapped thinking. And, and, and I'm going to say, don't get trapped thinking nobody is watching you because the moment you think nobody is watching you, there's four or five eyes around the corner. They say, uh-huh. I knew they weren't a child of God. I knew they weren't anointed. And that's what the enemy wants to do. <laughs> he wants to kill your integrity. So you got to hold on to your integrity. Hold on to your integrity. Hold on to your integrity. Steadfast means to stay committed. Stay committed. Stay the course. Stay focused. And when I talked about the horses, uh, they put blinders on the horses when they're not being focus just to get them focused narrow-minded in and when I started thinking about this thing and I'm almost done it's the same type of training that the saints are going through God is trying to put blinders on our side to let us know to stay focused don't worry about the background stuff that's what it is background stuff background stuff don't worry about it Keep moving. Keep pressing. Persevere in every area. Stay committed. Stay focused. Stay with the word. Stay in prayer. Stay with the fellowship. Stay with the unity. Like the sign says, or like our motto say, we roll together. We got to stay connected. Otherwise, we like sitting ducks like that game. <laughs> Folks go to the carnival because it's where the clowns are. It's the carnival. And they get the, the duck game and they start picking off every, every duck they can get. And that, that's what the enemy is doing. He, he, he's trying to pick off. Yeah. Every weak link, he's trying to pick off. Everyone that's not, he's trying to pick off. Those that are going somewhere, he's trying to pick us off. And he picks us off one by one. But don't you know, one can chase a thousand. And if we hook up, she, she can't get up right now. But, but if we hook up, that's 10 already defeated. And if she hook up right there, that's another 10. And then hook up right there, that's another 10. Another ten, and another ten, and another ten. In other words, he's saying that's one more victory. That's another victory. That's another victory. If anybody's at your top, I got you. That's another victory. The enemy thought he had you. You hooked up. That's another victory. Thank 
That's why you can't walk. You can't walk. You can't walk by yourself. And you can't walk unevenly yoked. God has called us to be yoked up together. For the kingdom's sake. And it's not just in here. It's all over the world. We are supposed to be representatives for Christ. Ambassadors. Thank you, Deke. For Christ. And if folks is looking at your life and they saying we can do it. We live in a society where they can think they can do whatever they want and they can still be saved. They think they can go wherever they want, say whatever they want, do what they do whatever they want to do. And God said, I turned them over to a reprobated mind. I gave them over to their own lust. And you cannot coexist with the anointing and seen in the same camp. I'm going to say this and we're going to serve communion. They kept losing a battle in the Old Testament and he couldn't figure out what was going on. And he finally got to the Lord and said, Lord, what is it? We keep losing the battle. And he told them there's sin in the camp. And he said, you're not going to be victorious until you get rid of the sin in the camp. And God is smoking the sin out. There's a weeding Ain't going to be back in the Amen. God said He's going to do the separating. And I had to ask the Lord. I said, Lord, I'm praying for folks, not just in here, but in other places. I'm praying. For, I'm praying for folks that that's talking about us. I'm praying for folks that dislike us. I'm praying for folks that, that, that are being misled about us. I'm praying for folks that's being confused in certain areas and don't know what God is doing in this season. I'm praying for folks. And he said, that's all right, son. You just keep on praying. Just keep on praying. He said, you're doing the right thing. Ain't, ain't, ain't that what Abraham said about life? Right. He said, right. he said, if I could just find ten righteous, uh, 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 Lord, I don't mean to bother you, but if I could just find five righteous, Lord, I, I hate to come to you again, but I, I'm, I'm still praying for these folks. If I could just find three righteous, if I could find two, if I could just find one. And that just lets me know God has given us grace. He has given us time to get in alignment. Last Sunday, we was at the coach at our first redeem. And we I spoke about some distractions. And the distractions are there. The distractions are real. The distractions are come to pull us off our game. To get us out of character. To, get, to make us miss the mark. And you have to make sure you stay focused in this season. Don't worry about what your neighbor is doing. Don't worry about what, what friends and colleagues are doing. You need to stay focused. And I need to tell you this. Whenever God starts speaking to you, uh -huh. it's for a reason. Yes. Yes. It is for a reason. Yes. And that season is coming around. And I just want to tell you, everybody that's a part of OEM right now, those that are watching by way of Facebook, YouTube, or whatever platform you're watching us on on this morning, God is telling us on this morning, this season is over. Hallelujah. Over. This season 
of distraction for us is over. You have stood the test of time. We stood fast under adversity, and God has pronounced us winners on today. So on today, you can lift your hand as a victorious one on this morning. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. No more chains are holding me. No longer bound. No longer bound. By sickness and plague, mishap, misunderstanding. No longer. This season is over. Hallelujah. And you can put a period at the end of this one. This next season for us is going to be a glorious season. This next season for us is going to be a wave of the anointing coming through this place. This next season is going to be for us because God said you have stood the test of time. And now I see that you have grown in some areas you didn't cry in some areas. But now you are laughing and praising me in that same drama. Because you refuse to give up. You refuse to give in. You refuse to wave the flag of surrender. You refuse. Glory to God. And because you remain committed, God said, I'm getting ready to strengthen you. I'm strengthening you for the next battle. And he told me to tell you he's proud of you. He's proud of you and I'm proud of you because of your stance. You stayed in the fight. You stayed in the fight. And didn't give up. Father, we thank you on this morning. We give you all praise. We give you all glory. We bless your name on today. Hallelujah. Father, we acknowledge that you are our healer. Yes. We acknowledge that you are our deliverer. Yes. Father, we th acknowledge that you are our way maker. And God, we thank you for the things that you have already done. We said it before, if we had 10,000 yeah. tongues, we couldn't Not praise you enough. you enough. But God, we acknowledge you in all our ways. We yes. give thanks in everything. For this is the will concerning us. So God, I thank you all today. We give you all praise. We give you all glory. And we give you all honor. As we stand, those that are able to stand with cups in hand. Yes. We thank you for the communion Sunday on this morning. Yes. God, we thank you for what you have done for us. We are to remain free, not tangled or trapped yes, in certain situations no longer again because you have freed us in that area. Yes. You have freed us thank from you, temptations. Yes. Temptations are going to be there, but you have made a way of escape. And if we pay close attention, pay uh, uh, we stay focused on you. We can see our way out uh, even as it starts to form right before our eyes. Uh, because whatever the enemy tries to do, it may form, but it shall not prosper. So God, we thank you on today. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for the cup. We thank you for what you did for us. How you took our place. How you stepped in on our behalf. How you took every lick. How you was pierced in your side. We thank you on this morning for being the great I am. You are Jehovah Shalom. You are Jehovah Nisi. You are Jehovah Rapha. God, we thank you because you are our healer. You are our deliverer. God, we thank you because you are on that present. God, we thank you because you are all knowing. You are all seeing. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
for the Lord on our side, where would we be? God, we thank you on today, and we reverence you. So we're just here to acknowledge, God, what you have already done for us, what you have already done for us. God, how you have opened doors for us. God, how you have closed some doors. God, how you have brought us through. You brought us through on dry ground. God, when we thought we was going to sink, you brought us through. God, we thank you on this morning. Uh, we thank you. So we reverence you. We honor you on today and every day. You told us as often as we do this, as often as we take communion, do it in remembrance of you. So God, we want to remember you. Mm. We want to remember you. We want to remember that the Father said, who shall we send? And Jesus said, send me, Father. Send me, God. Let me go in their place. God, Jesus, oh my God, Jesus gave himself yes. as a ransom for our sins. So as we break this first seal, uh, my God, the bread mm -hmm. represents the body of Christ. Yes. <laughs> Every lick, mm -hmm. piercing, mm -hmm. spit upon, yes, carried all of our sins yes. in his body. Yes. We break it and eat on this morning yes. in remembrance of him. We pull back that second seal. The cup. Yes. It's not important. Amen. It's the contents yes. blood, within the, blood. the cup. Yes. In the cup. The, blood. the contents inside of the cup represents the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. The blood that was shed for you. Yes. The blood that was shed for me. Yes. The blood that washes. The blood, the blood that makes whole. The blood. the blood that cleans us up. Yes. The blood that makes a way out of nowhere. The blood that's crying on this morning. Remember me on this morning. Remember what I've done for you. Remember what I've been through for you on this morning. Drink all of it. Amen. Mm. Mm. My God, my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh,
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Lay, lay, lay your hand on mother. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Father God, right where I stand, we speak across the room. We speak healing to her body. We speak restoration right now. God, we speak healing all around her. God, we say put a hedge of protection around her. Reward her for her faithfulness. Sometimes, God, she has to separate herself from the things that are trying to hold her back as she presses forward, knowing she don't want to leave folks behind. But God, she's learning that she has to make a move for herself. God, we thank you for rewarding her right now for her faithfulness. Touch her heart. Touch her mind. Touch her spirit. Continue to strengthen her right now. God, you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. It is by faith that we believe on today. And God, we know that she has her hand on her son. God, we know that she has her hand on her son. She has seen great and mighty things happen on her son. And God, we say finish the work up and do it speedily. In the name of Jesus, we thank you how you have already brought families together. We thank you how family have come together to praise you. So God, continue to elevate each and every one of them right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God on this morning. You, you know, do Amen. Yeah. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Miss Anissa, if you want to take those books and go behind the pulpit for me. I'm here to do the announcements. Um, we just want to say thank everyone for participating with us for our OEM annual community picnic Amen. slash surprise retirement for yeah. yeah. pastor. Some people said we didn't know, but that's because we had to try and do our best to keep him surprised. My God. Uh, we still have people texting and calling us and saying how wonderful everything was, how uh -huh. beautiful, and how they, <laughs> they've never seen a picnic look like a banquet, and they loved it. And I just want to thank you um, to OEM oh, yeah. team who did everything, who worked Amen. hard, who uh, fixed food, who came out, brought gifts. Amen. And next year we're going to put a spin on it and we'll get together and let you know. Keep it in your book. Save the date, May the 3rd of 2025. It's going to be something totally different. Amen. The pastor deserves, the church deserves. Keep that in mind. May Amen. the 3rd. Yeah. Yeah. We got it already booked. Amen. Put it in your date. Yeah. Amen. We also want to thank everyone um, who traveled um, with Pastor um, to Bishop Coates, First Redeemed by the Blood. Amen. That was awesome. He taught that, that empowerment lesson word. And we had a wonderful service with them that morning as well. And we thank Bishop Coates and Lady Coates and um, First Redeemed for the warm welcome that they gave us. Amen. You can continue to watch OEM Ministries um, Sundays, 11 a.m., under Elder Michael Payne. Um, we also have our open doors for our church at 6813 Old Trail Road. Come on out. Amen. Join us and visit us. You're going to get a word. You will be blessed. Amen. Um, services are on Facebook and YouTube, as I mentioned. Um, we also have um, our sewing with the word will be every second and fourth Tuesday. We normally contact and let everyone know. We'll put it on Facebook if it's going to be in-house or online. We'll please watch. Um, oh, we have an OEM ministry page, and we also have Elder Michael Payne's page. Amen. Amen. I'd like to continue to pray for the sick and shut in and the bereavement families. Um, please keep um, my uncle, Sylvester McKinney, and um, Pastor's father, Press Payne Jr., in your prayers as well. They're in Illinois, but they need your prayers. Um, also, we are still going to have our pick our um, garage sale. We just have to move it back. We'll work on that leadership team. Um, but I will be speaking to some of you later, um, sketching your date, June the 8th, which is next Saturday. I'll talk to you after that. 
The church will be used for a function, and I want to talk to you. Amen. Um, also, we have some giveaways. These are our um, notebook, the space one that is created, author Michaela Payne. And we have Faith Over Fear, Miss Deja Lindsay. Yeah. And they are both on Amazon for sale, but we're going to do a, instead of our Saturday giveaway, we're doing a Sunday giveaway. So I will be posting, and of course, all you got to do is like, comment, and share, and um, we will give those away. So that will be two winners. Um, and those, turn the books around for me, they are journal books. Amen. They are beautiful. Well done. Creative. They're already selling, just like I said, on the Amazon. They have more books. This is just some. They have more books out there. And we want to encourage mm -hmm. our young people. Encourage our young people. So that's their own business. So that's what we're going to do. Um, right quick, we're going to let Anissa, if you want to just show a couple pages inside. Yes, Lord Jesus. Those are journal books. Everything is noted in there. All you got to do is keep your journal. Keep your keep it. Write down your gifts. Some we got some sing some songwriters in here. Write it down in there. And then we have our faith. Amen. So this is just not something easy to do. You have to in this one and both of them deal with scriptures and God. Nothing's gonna be crazy. So we want to say um, thank you. So that is going to be um, given online today when we get home. Thank you on that part. At least you want to sit those books down. And then also, you know that um, CNKP Vending More, we have our vending machine over here with some treats. But we've also got our snack store that started today. After service, um, maybe my Kayla and Deja can man. We have them over here in the corner. We have some snack and chips. We Look. Those donations will be given to OEM funds. Amen. Amen. We got things that we want to do and pass them as approved for the day. So see the snack area over there. And uh, Ms. Michaela Deja will let you know about the cost, cost and price. Amen. Also, pastor's going to do, when I get done, pastor's going to do offering a little bit more. But the offering cash app is dollar sign OEM together. Amen. Amen. And um, the deacons will make sure they'll get the envelopes for you. The pastor's going to speak on that. But before he does that, I think Deacon Jermaine, do you have my names in the bucket? Somebody got them. They scramble. Somebody, okay. Deacon Jones? Yeah. Somebody come to the front. I don't know which one. <laughs> and um, because we are a nonprofit and we also have our art outreach, which is um, charity, um, we may have to put a little bit so we can pick a name. And so we do have anonymously, we also have companies and different people um, helping and sending, and they want us to give away because they know OEM is going to give. They know that we're going to help and share. So OEM received a $10, you got a name? Don't worry. A $10 OEM um, Walmart card. And because it was given to our outreach community, this card may not be used to purchase alcohol, tobacco, firearms, or lottery in-store redemption only. Ten dollars can help you. You may have, you may be short on something. You may need a little milk or bread. And I believe when someone gives, we pass it along. So the winner for today for the ten dollar Walmart gift card is Shatara. Shatara. I was passing that. Congratulations. Congratulations. Remember our Cash App OEM together. And as we continue, we are continuing to receive throughout, I mean, just anonymously, um, their PayPal accounts because it is a 501 church. And we thank God for that. We bless Him. Everything counts because we have some things to do. OEM. Can you hear me? We have some things to do. So make sure that OEM sees me after church. I'm going to turn into the hand. Um, Pastor Payne. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hey, amen. Uh, I didn't get up here to scold nobody. I wanted to come up and congratulate you all. Amen. 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 
congratulate you all on your contribution, uh, your giving, and I want to encourage you to keep on giving. There are some things that we endeavor to do this summer, amen, and not just for the community, it's folks in here that we also help, amen, amen. not to put a... Um, and not 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 to uh, damper that down, but hey amen. If you can't help in house, what good is it helping outside? So we try to help in here as well. Those that are going through or having some type of crisis, hey amen. We try to help. We reach out to them, hey amen, to make sure that they're taken care of as well, hey amen. Because we roll together and we want to make sure that everybody is up to par. So I thank God for each and every one of you, you that have been given by way of Facebook or uh, YouTube. However you've been giving, offering and tithes, however you've been doing it, I want to congratulate you and encourage you to keep on giving. Yes. Your giving is not in vain. Okay. Amen. And God is going to reward you. I know some give a small amount, some give a large amount, but I want to challenge you to go a little bit above. Amen. Because God's going to meet you at that next level. This is a new start for a whole lot of us. And I hear the Lord saying, try me. Yeah. Try me. Trust me. And God said, the more you trust me, the more I'm going to pour out to you. I'm going to give to you some water, some plant, but God gives the increase. And it's not about you eating good. It's about us all eating good. Amen. So, um, if one is blessed, we all are blessed. And, amen. Because we know God is no respect of a person. So I don't have to worry about helping you because God is going to help all of us. And we are helpers one to another. So I thank you for your offering. Amen. Continue. Um, like I said, we got things that we plan on doing. And we, we, we're going to take, take this neighborhood. All right. Amen. <laughs> take this neighborhood and yes, there are some folks that got to move. They got to go. Amen. 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 So I thank God for what he's doing. Yes, uh, often that offering has already been taken. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, Minister Davis, come on. Come here. Amen. I'll let you pray the offering this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus Almighty God, we thank you, O oh God. Yes, Lord. We thank you for everyone that was able to give on this morning. Yes, Lord. Bless those who were not able Bless. to give. Oh Bless them. God, reward them for reward the heart them, to Lord. give, O oh God. Yes, Lord. And Father God, give them increase. Open up the windows yes, of Lord. heaven and pour them out of blessing. Increase. That they will not have room to receive, O oh God. Yeah. Bless name by name person by person, oh God. And we give from our hearts, oh God, yes, so that you may do what you need to do for the kingdom and for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks always. Amen. 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 And I want to say that there's a lot of you that are coming along very well. Amen. I mean very well. And let God continue to use you. Amen. Amen. There's promotion at the end of it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. There is promotion. Amen. 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 There is promotion. Amen. Uh, mm -hmm. mm. There is promotion. Hallelujah. <coughs> Melinda, leave your hand in front. On Tanisha, lay your hand on Tanisha. She's quiet because she's been meditating. And you've been meditating because your spirit has been bothered. And God said, even in the midst of your spirit being bothered, he's going to strengthen you. He's, he's going to strengthen you. 
you have been a forerunner for a whole lot of folks. And he said he's not going to leave you stranded in that area. He's going to strengthen you because there's folks that are watching you right now. And though some have turned their back on you, some have talked about you, some have, <laughs> ooh, Lord have mercy. Some have tried to put your business out. God, uh, God, 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 God said he's getting ready to shut the mouth right. of the nation. All right. And I heard him say, don't worry about it. The battle is not yours. Daughter, the battle is not yours. It belongs to the Lord. So he said, remain faithful. Remain faithful. And the next time that enemy rears its head up again, Go to speaking in tongues. Because that confuses the enemy. That's going to be your worship. You are a praiser in the spirit. And you are a praiser in the natural. And God said just begin to praise him. And everything is going to work in your favor. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Mm. every hurt be removed right now, in the name of Jesus, and we come alongside to fight whatever's born with you, we come alongside to help to strengthen and encourage you yes. and to fight alongside with you. So I thank God for you on this morning. Yes. If there's nothing else on this morning. Uh -huh. I really just wanted to say thank you all. Um, first of all, we are mm -hmm. big doors and we are not big doors. Right. That's the first thing I want to say. The second thing I want to say is thank you for all of your support. Amen. For your love. Let me tell you, I told my mother, I said, if you didn't know your purpose, <laughs> God just showed you your purpose. Yes, Lord. He just used you to show a dying world that he is real. Right. Yes. He just showed you through your own self that you are heroic, you are courageous. Yes, you are strong. Lord. Yes, and it's so crazy that a couple of weeks after I spoke, then the devil want to show his dirty hands. Mm -hmm. yes. But when I tell y'all that the Lord has blessed me yesterday, it just wasn't a good day for me. I was I had to leave work early, and I couldn't take care of my residents because I'm trying to take care of myself. Right. And so um, I work in Austin, so I have to hit the highway every day. But on my way home, I just sat on the side of the road, and I just began to, I mean, just well. tears just, I covered my stairwell. Amen. But... By the time I made a phone call, I called Sister Tanisha. I said, I don't do this. Amen. That's first of all. First and foremost, I battle by myself. I may receive the calls. I may receive the text, but I battle alone. Uh -huh. But God had told me to give her a call. Look up. Look know up. You are not okay. Come on. And it's amazing how God can break that pain off yeah. of you right. to where you can keep going. Right. So I just want you guys to uh, be encouraged. Like this is real out here. Yeah. Yes, it is. And, and even my job. I'm the rookie of the month, right? Today made a month. <laughs> it, just, it just shows you how hard I work. Mm -hmm. And you said something about me prior to me getting up that really touched my heart. Mm -hmm. You said, Tina, when you walk into rooms, you cause people to smile. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. my administrator said, when Tina walks in. Everybody just loves her and just appreciate her positive attitude. Right. I believe what the enemy is trying to do, like Pastor said, is just to distract me. Mm -hmm. Because I had I have all these good things.
things going, but a lot of strong things mm -hmm. that's, right. that's, that's, that's yeah. from the hand of the enemy going on too. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We are more than conquerors for him that loved us. But again, I just want to say be 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 encouraged. Mm -hmm. Amen. And know that God is on our side. But again, I just wanted to give God the glory. Yes, it's a push. It's a, it's a, you know, but we can do all things through Christ that give us yeah. So again, thank you for your prayers and let's keep moving forward. Yeah. 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 I did not uh, that was on my list to let her say something about that situation and it slipped my mind but God has a way of bringing it back so I'm glad you were able to bring that back to my remembrance and not only do we want to pray for your mother but we want to pray for you amen, amen. amen. Right where you are, lift your hands. Right where you are. Amen. God, we thank you for this daughter. Thank we thank you for the faith that she walks in. Yes, and God, we thank you for the doors that you have opened in her life. Yes, God. Now, God, that situation that she's dealing with, the yes, frustration yes. is trying to sit on her. Yes. God, you remove that frustration yes. right now. Yes. In the name of Jesus, God, take, turn that frustration into a praise. Like she began the praise by pulling over. God, let the praise just ring forth. I told her on the other day, let that anger become a praise and begin to worship God. And when you begin to worship God in spirit and in truth, God is going to handle the situation that's trying to hold you down. The thing that's frustrating you, the thing that seems like it won't move. God is about to remove that obstacle out of the way so daughter you have clear runway, a clear path to move. So God we thank you all today. Strengthen her heart strengthen her mind, strengthen her body, strengthen her voice. God, we need her voice to be able to sing like the birds. God, we need the voice that can reach you in praise and worship. We need her voice and she need her voice strong that she can put the enemy to flight. So God, we thank you for touching her voice. Give her a voice to praise you, to honor you, and to adore you in every situation. Let praises ring in her spirit. And God, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. And we give you honor. And it's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Quickly, um, I love what um, Tina's mom put on Facebook when she... Um, she thanks God for everything, but she said, I'm also praying for that young man. Amen. What happened with your mom in, um, happened oh, it touched yeah. Fort Wayne. It made Fort Wayne know that there is a God. Yes. People who didn't believe in God were saying, that's, that's God. That's only God's hand. People on YouTube, people all through the states because they were showing it. And now they can see that because of her that God is real, whether they want to admit it or not. Right. They saw it. <coughs> Amen. Amen. And if I'm not trying to boast about anything, but on that same note, Brenda's son had the same situation. And, and let me tell you, I don't know what, and she can tell you because I came home and I told her, I said, somebody's getting ready to come in there with a gun. And she said, what? And I said, I hope they, I hope she ain't by herself. I hope he ain't by himself. I hope they are prepared. Somebody's getting ready to come through. And sure enough, Brenda called us two days ago and said a guy came in there. He was looking suspicious, did something, stepped out, and her son was just watching him for a moment. Then he came back, laid the gun on the counter, and said, I'm sorry, and walked out. <laughs> no idea and I forgot all about it and I told her because I wanted to check with Brenda to make sure that they are protected in that place and no matter where you go you got to be you got to know your surroundings I don't care if you running in the park or walking in the park 
Don't put them big earphones on and where it clogs both your ears up. Take Put one on and one off because you need to know if somebody coming up behind you and knock you in the back of your head. I'm just being real on this morning. Hey, amen. I done seen people get snatched up in vans and they running and didn't know the van was coming slowly behind them and snatched right on up. That's how they getting these prostitutions going on. That's how these kids are being abducted because they're not paying attention. God is saying stay focused. Stay focused. So we got to stay focused in this season. So I thank God for what he's doing. I thank God for all the miracles. I thank him for the healing. I thank him for deliverance. And I thank him for folks that have a mind stayed on him. If there's nothing else on this morning, may we all stand.